The previous video featured uh, an overview of the first five resources on the left tab. We're going to attempt to get through the rest of them in this section here. Uh, and so we're going to start with the newspaper section. Uh, again, typing in your password. Again, that can be acquired through your media center, media coordinator. Uh, but this provides a searchable database of newspapers. Uh, and it will provide full text articles, but it will provide more up-to-date information. Uh, so that could be good if, uh, I know our textbooks are a little bit old, uh, but it could provide very up-to-date information for some of the other areas. The link on the left that I just clicked was the Lands and Peoples. This is an excellent resource for social studies. We'll look more at this uh, when we get into the particular social studies video, um, but this would be great for state reports, country reports, or just all all around any uh, social studies information. The next link I'm going to click on is the popular science link. This link here uh, links to another Grohler online uh, resource and this is all about science. There's also some good math information as well. We'll look at this in the particular science video that will come later. Uh, also on the side we've got an ebook center which has full text ebooks and several of these are excellent resources for social studies. You'll also see some that are for science that would be great resources and we'll look more on those individually when we get to some of those specific topic area videos a little bit later. The next resource we're going to look at is the Novel List K-8. through This is a, a database that's going to be kind of a neat thing, especially for those book lovers in your class. Uh, it provides uh, books that would be similar um, to books that students like. And so if there's a type of reading that they really enjoy, you could click that in and see what books would be recommended, what books are strong. So there's even a best of 2012. There's nonfiction books. Um, and so it has a list of the best or recommended nonfiction books. Uh, but I know Hunger Games is a popular um, book for students these days. So if we click on Hunger Games, it gives you a bunch of different possible books that fit that search criteria. But if I click on Hunger Games, it's going to provide me with some similar read-alikes. So maybe I really like uh, Hunger Games, but I want you know, I've read the whole series and I want something that's similar and so I could choose one of these books and there's more up here that are available as well. Um, and so that's based on the Hunger Games and you also can narrow it down by genre, by storyline, by tone, maybe you like a certain style of writing. Um, but a lot of good ways. And there's also a resource. I know a lot of teachers are big readers as well. Um, but this is just going to recommend K through 8 books. Um, but if you go through and go to the high school zone, they'll actually have a link to the novelist that uh, is for adult books as well. And then we'll head back to that original page. Um, I'm not even going to attempt how to say this this word here, um, but it's a Spanish encyclopedia. Uh, we do have a high population of uh, ESL students, so this could be a very fantastic resource uh, for those students, but it's the same resources that were on the Grohler uh, online encyclopedia, but just in Spanish. So an excellent resource for those students there. Uh, and then there's also a video collection resource, uh, and I think there's a note on here. Yes, there is. Uh, it says several video collections have been withdrawn. And so you'll see that sometimes with NCYSL there are um, some situations where they withdraw some stuff due to budgetary cutbacks. Uh, and I think if you go to the PBIS videos, you have to register and have um, a password for that. Um, but once you do that one time, it's pretty easy and straightforward to do.